It is incredibly challenging to be holding the hand of a patient when they take their very last breath because their loved ones can't be with them. A somber milestone. The nation breaks records in COVID-related deaths. Salt Lake City is one of the worst cities in the U.S. for car thefts. And the 2021 Sundance Film Festival goes digital for the first time ever. Welcome to Newsline. It's Thursday, December 3rd. I'm Joseph Carson. The U.S. has set a new record for most coronavirus deaths reported in a single day. According to data from Johns Hopkins University, more than 3,100 deaths were reported from the virus on Wednesday. That same day, the United States surpassed 100,000 COVID-19 hospitalizations. Wednesday also saw 3,157 deaths, the highest daily number ever reported. Americans have always come together to lend a hand and to serve others and to do what's right. Former Presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, and Bill Clinton have all agreed to get the COVID-19 vaccine. All three men have confirmed they would be willing to get an approved vaccine publicly to help promote its safety and encourage others to do the same. The CDC is advising people to not travel for the December holidays. Following the pattern of the United States, Utah is increasing in positive COVID-19 cases. The state has a total of 202,220 cases of the coronavirus. Salt Lake County has more than 82,000 COVID cases. Utah County has more than 50,000. Davis County has about 17,000 positive cases. And San Juan County now has more than 1,000 coronavirus cases. Salt Lake City is the fourth worst city for vehicle theft in the United States. In a three-year study, Auto Insurance EZ discovered the top 15 cities with the highest vehicle theft rate. The top five cities with the worst car theft rates annually are Portland, Oregon, San Jose, California, Seattle, Washington, Salt Lake City, and San Francisco, California. Despite the capital city's high ranking, car thefts in Salt Lake City have declined by 35% between 2017 and 2019. The Utah Transit Authority is asking Utahns to give feedback on transit alternatives to Tooele from Salt Lake City. UTA is offering four options for the transit. A frontrunner rail line, an all-day mixed-flow express bus, a mixed-flow bus with limited stops, and a shoulder-running rapid transit bus. UTA is hosting a virtual open house for the next two weeks, so commuters can learn more about the available alternatives and the Tooele Valley Transit study. For more information or to give feedback, go to surveyanyplace.com slash Valley. This year's Sundance Festival is going virtual and national. When I say sun, you say dance, sun! The 2021 Film Festival will feature virtual premieres, question and answer sessions, and panels. All 70 film sessions will be available online. Some films will have screenings online at drive-ins and art house theaters. The film festival begins on January 28th. For more information, go to festival.sundance.org. The Provo Municipal Council votes to protect Bridal Veil Falls and keep the land public. On Tuesday, the Provo Council unanimously passed a resolution in support of granting a conservation easement to protect the iconic waterfall in Provo Canyon. The owner of Cirque Lodge Alcohol and Drug Rehabilitation Center wants to make the land private to build a tram and drug treatment center at the top of the falls. The Utah County Commission will hold a public hearing regarding Bridal Veil Falls on December 9th at 3 p.m. and then vote on the conservation easement. Women of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are asking you to take a walk for hunger. ...today in Mueller Park Canyon in solidarity with our friends at Church World Service who are asking people to walk for people who are hungry. The church is in the midst of its annual Light the World season, but this year you won't see those famous red giving machines. Instead, church leaders are going virtual. You can still light the world, and one of the things you can do is to walk in solidarity with people who are hungry, who often walk about nine miles a day to get food and water. Apart from walking a mile, the Relief Society women are encouraging others to visit JustServe.org to find service projects that benefit food banks. You can also check out CropHungerWalk.org for more information on the virtual walks. For more information on our stories or to share them with your friends, make sure to check out our website at universe.byu.edu forward slash newsline. Have a great day.